You see this? You see it? This is some weird stuff. So, it's finally come down to Mountain Dew Gingerbread Snapped. Oh, they snapped all right. You have to be in order to make something like this. <laughs> um, it's very strange. A blast of artificial gingerbread flavor in a Mountain Dew. Next on the list, Mountain Dew Pumpkin Tea Rings. Please don't. Please, 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 please do not do that. Please do not do Mountain Dew pumpkin tea rings. Well, let's get it open. First off, I will say the design actually is kind of cool. Actually is kind of cool. That actually, you know, that makes sense. That's, you know, that's pretty good for it. It's a nice Mountain Dew sign and it kind of fits the rest of it. So you got the color right, you got the red cap and all the design stuff you're doing with it. Everything about this so far, other than the idea of the taste, is pretty good. So, let's tap the top, so that way we don't get any fizz up in your face stuff. Darn it. No, wait, we're good. Okay, awesome. I wonder if I can smell. Yeah, I think I smelt it. There was a hint of it. And yes, it do smell like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Ooh. I don't like this one as much. My verdict? I think is six out of 10. And for Mountain Dew standards, that's pretty bad. Normally with these type of Mountain Dews, I'm giving them like, you know, seven, sevens if it's like normal Mountain Dew, but like eights or nines or maybe close to even tens. But this, it's like when I first tasted it, it was like just fizzy water, like just fizzy water. And then after the fizzy water like went through, only then did I taste something. Only then did I actually taste like you know, something at, that tasted anything, like anything at all. And it was the gingerbread thing. And it tasted like an aftertaste. Like an In fact, I'm going to do a second. Hold on. Let me get a second take on this. Another thing, it's spicy. Like, it's got a spice to it. I guess that's the idea of ginger, because ginger is a spice. But that doesn't really sit well with the Mountain Dew. I can see some people liking it. I don't know what to say to those people. They do them, I guess. But me personally, I give it a six. Because it's not horrible enough to where I'd want to give it a five. Five would have to be that actually starts rotting my taste buds out and it actually tastes pretty darn bad. When you get into the five or lower range, that's when it's like really bad drinks. But this is passable because even though it is an aftertaste, and at least they did the job of tasting like a gingerbread spice, and it do. Now, I'd rather it be like a ginger ale. In fact, if this was a ginger ale, or tasted like a ginger ale, that would work. But this don't work. Mountain Dew is not something that works with the idea of ginger ale. Ginger ale is handled best by stuff like Fitz's Soda. I think I said that right. Um, Canadian Dry, which I need to try their Bold Edition. Um, you know, stuff like that. Stuff where it's like, you know, it's handled better by other people. Mountain Dew is all about that extreme. So it doesn't really work well with ginger stuff. Or at least I, I'm not seeing it work well. 
I really can't describe. I really can't describe it any more than what I have. But um, you know, it it is what it is. So at least at least they come up. They came up with something different for this time around. I would like it if they went back to the Merry Mash or that uh, holiday. I think it was called Holiday Brew. I want to say it was called Holiday Brew, but like the Merry Mash or Holiday Brew, where it was like Mountain Dew and uh, I think it was Mountain Dew and Code Red mixed together, or something else. Cranberry. That's what it was. Cranberry flavor. The cranberry flavor actually worked pretty well. I rather both those. Those are better. Of those two, I don't really know which one tastes better because I can't remember them that much and they were both pretty good. But this, I'm sorry to say, nah, it just didn't work. Anyway, well, go out there and try it for yourself. That's what I'll say. I'm not gonna say, you know, you need to go out there and buy this stuff. I can't really advertise for something that I kind of feel meh about. So if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. If not, you do you, and you say that, hey, this, usually his reviews are okay, so I can trust his opinion that this is not going to work. So, uh, Mountain Dew snapped. Yeah, don't know what else to say about it. See you guys later. Have a blessed day, and thanks for the watchy.